Hey everybody, I have a Mitsubishi WD-720, WD-720, yeah, that I believe has an issue with turning green and shutting down. Uh, I just took it out of the box, unpacked it, and plugged it in, so you guys will see it come on, same time as I will. Hmm, nothing. Flashing red and green power light. I suspect. Is this it? Power menu. There's a, a reset. Eh, let me find it. Alright, my high quality video method of sharing my screen. There's going to be a reset in here that's going to be down with the lamp replacement so let's get to that and this is pretty common if the customer probably checked to see uh, what was going on you know check the manual with against the symptoms they probably would have seen that the timer had run out so I'm just getting to the replacement section here we are lamp replacement Interval of lamp replacement. Okay, so in this case, the power is red, green, and nothing. So I suspect, here we go, left, right, and power. That should put the thing back in operation. So let's head back. And this is surprisingly common. So, let's see, left, right, and power, we had the two flashes. Is this cover not on? It's also acting like the cover's off, but let's do that again. Oh, wait a minute, there we go. And power? Nothing? Weird. Hmm. All right, I still think it's the timer, or the timer was part of it, but let's make sure there's a lamp in here. Let's get that cover out of the way. One clip. Yeah, something's weird. This should not be this hard to get off. Mm. I'm going to need two hands. Hang on. Jeez, that was really jammed in there. Looks like it's right side up. But... Wow, and that's tight too. That's really tight. There's a lamp access door switch that needs to be hit. And that switch down and in, in here Let me see I'll get a get my flashlight maybe that'll illuminate it down in there I'm trying to see if it got damaged or not because it's really acting like the doors off let's try putting the door back on actually let me try this first let's unplug it This goes in through there and hits the switch. So just make sure the door is on right. It's slid into place. Snug Mr. Screw in. I'm going to leave this off. And let's plug it back in. nothing see i don't think that switch is getting hit all right so next step then i'm going to take that door back off and we're going to take the top off so let's just move that cord out of the way um i think i want to take the lamp out i 
It's funny, doing these videos really makes me more conscious of my steps. Normally I just kind of do it, just fix it, fix it and it's done. Let's see. Why does that sticker look messed with? I have to check another one. Curious. Very curious. Anyway, that's the lamp. That sticker looks like it was moved. I don't know. Might compare this to another one. I don't think anybody's trying to pull anything funny, but eh, you never know. Alright, so... Yeah. Next step is to... Uh, I don't need to get into there. It's lens adjustment. Next step is to take all these guys off. So I'm going to put you guys on the tripod so that I can have two hands. Alright, let's try this view. Did I get that one? Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I should have seven screws when I do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's see who didn't come out. This one. One little guy. There we go. Seven. All right. So now so I'm gonna set that here so I know where the edge of the camera is. So now a couple on the back. Somebody was in this. That's missing a screw. Interesting. A lot of things are setting off some red flags for me on this projector. I'm still curious if that's the lamp that was sent to them or not. There we go. So that plate comes off and now the top lifts up and I can disconnect the keyboard. There we go. So, the switch is right here, this guy. So when the door goes on, that's supposed to hit it, but there's a, a lever missing. There's supposed to be a metal thing right here that goes across that hits that. So let's see if it's inside first. So I don't know where it would go otherwise. But it's not. Oh, the fan fell out. There we go. Come on. Stay in place. Yeah. So it's not in there. So that means somebody else was in this. I'm going to see if I have any switches around. All right. I confirmed it. I checked uh, some of my pictures and I found another model that had that switch. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any of these switches. I have this one. But it's a little too big. I might see if I can fit it in there. Customer needs this back quick. So I'm actually waiting on a call to see if they just want to have me bypass it. And it's used in a uh, restaurant. So the only time anyone goes to the lamp is when it goes bad. So bypassing it by either just hooking these wires together or just a glob of solder here would solve it but for the heck of it just want to see yeah see they're the same plug this is out of a slightly older Mitsubishi I'm wondering if I can cut that plastic up a little bit and get that to fit in I might try that Okay, 
let's see. So that has to come off that edge. I could order another one, but you know, again, this is an older projector. It's not being used in a home, so wouldn't be that big a deal <clears throat> just to bypass it. see if I can at least get that screw to line up. If I can get one screw to line up, I think that'll be fine. And if I get that one to line up, then I'll see about making a small hole for the other screw. Alright, so that comes out to... Yeah, there we go. So, this guy... Now, wait a minute. Which way was the arm on the old one? Oh, actually, let me show you. Zoom. You can see right there. Focus. There we go. You can see right there. That's where the arm used to be. That arm. So, as I throw screws inside... Let's try, let's see, will that fit that way? It's a little long. All right, let's cut that. Oh, zoom you guys back out, sorry. That has to line up. No, oh, a little shorter still. All right, let's see if that lines up. short wow okay so this is just a little too close to that hole I should just take all those out that's what I'll do these are really not going to do us any good goal for this projector is to get a few more years out of it, at least another lamp's worth, so I think it's worthwhile. Here we go. concern is that this is too long of a switch and the I'll have to trim the door and if that's the case I may just tell them their only reasonable solution to get this back out today or tomorrow is to have me just bypass the uh, interlock it's to protect people from starting up the projector with the lamp cover off and possibly getting burned or electrocuted. So I get it. Because let's see, this switch sat here. So I don't know how obvious it is from up there. Let's see. Zoom in. 
you can see, come on, focus. You can see that switch, I hope you can see it, that switch is a little shorter. But, there's really only one way to find out. Let's just set the cover back on. I think the cover's pushing on the switch now. Let's see if that switch is jammed or... Something, something in here. That maybe, maybe. All right. So I cut what I think was in the way out of the way. sits down a lot better. All right. So, it's a little bit past, so let's see how the door feels. All right, so it's clicking. Still goes on. It's a little long, but I'm going to take a tiny bit off, and I'm going to use these great tools, these nippers, but just a very tiny bit. Because this will give me a nice clean, yeah, nice clean cut. There we go. So I think this is actually going to be perfect. Yep. I bet that does it. Alright, so we will put... Actually, I want to look at the lamp. Just real quick. I want to see... Make sure that this is the right lamp that was purchased and if this isn't a different lamp. There should be a serial number on the bulb. There is. 17G5. 17B. Huh. 17G10266 one one yeah they pulled the sticker off something else i'll deal with that at another time but i knew something seemed weird i'll bet you it was out of warranty and they switched it with one that was just want to write this down for later all right so we're going to put the lamp back in Up. Now, the handle goes forward. All right, we'll tighten these guys. This cover. We're gonna watch it. I want to see that light change. Oh, I forgot to plug the uh, <laughs> top cover back in, but I did hear the relay click, so that's good. 
forgot to uh, reconnect the keyboard. As I said, making these videos makes me a little hyper aware. Flashy light. <laughs> Ready to go. All right. There we go, and it's firing up. Get that tight. I got light coming on. Oops. Ah, oh, my switch came off. That's all right. That's because the cover's not being held down. But I think this will do it. I'm going to put the screws back in. And uh, then we'll fire it up. Still wonder why that's so tight going on. Is it upside down? It's probably backwards. Oh, two different sizes. They had it on upside down. Amazing. Here is my surprise face. All right. So when you put it on the right way, it snaps right in. All right. Oh, and the other thing. This is bugging me. So the problem was that missing the uh, metal arm across it. Yeah, I got a picture. Bring menu up. Oof. Holy crap. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this thing's a mess. Somebody else was in here. I wish you got air. I'm gonna um, <sighs> unbelievable. All right, so I got it to come on, and this is the screen. So something ain't right. Let's open it back up. So now I have the power on, but the picture looks like that. So stay tuned for part two.